Um, I've been doing design for family and friends for the last three, six, seven years, actually. I've always enjoyed it. My family knows me for that. Like I'm the one that usually throws parties and events and decorates and all of that. In fact, some of my family members actually hire me to do stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's been something I've always enjoyed. I think just adding it to our photography is a bonus. I'm always having brides that are asking where to go for flowers and you know, would this look good and would that look good? And they'll send me pictures of like what they think would look good on their tables. So I usually give them my advice and they like it. I've started designing a few inspired shoots a few years ago and really liked that. Got some good feedback. One of the inspired shoots was featured on Seattle Met Bride and Groom. And so I was like, okay, you know, I, uh, I enjoyed doing that. That was fun. I was able to team up with some really good vendors. Over the last couple of years, I had teamed up with some other designers and florists and worked side by side with them on some of the shoots and realized that I really, really enjoyed that. And we were also photographing them. So it was kind of a bonus where I could see yeah. visually not only what I was setting up and recreating, but behind the lens, take the pictures that I was wanting specifically. I feel like a lot of times when uh, designers set things up, at least I've heard this when they set things up, then a photographer will come in and it won't be exactly what they were envisioning as far as the design part goes. What I have heard in the last few years from other designers and just people in general is like, that's obviously a bonus to where I have the eye of photography but I also have this passion for design, so it kind of coincides with each other. And so I'm able to set something up and then see like this would be great in a picture as well. The reason why I did this big shoot up at the Bellwether and teaming up with a large group of vendors was because typically we're in the Snohomish King County area and I, we were wanting to move more north and team up with some of the vendors that way because there's some great artists up there. A lot of the vendors I specifically sought out to work with and I'm fortunate that they were all willing to work with us. I gave myself a few months to really team up with some of the you know really uh, top vendors in that area. I allowed myself some time to get to know some of them. I feel like we made some really good connections and that's what I was wanting in this shoot was uh, just some good connections and as far as showing our work and collaborating all together. And then just show my style. This shoot was very colorful, which a lot of people, not a lot, but a few people are like, wow, that's a lot of colors. Is that going to look good? And I feel like it really came together and looked gorgeous. So I'm, I'm really excited to see where that shoot will go in the future. But as far as the vendors, like all of them are fantastic and were offered a lot to the shoot and I had a lot of fun. Uh, it was a great way for Richard to be able to photograph on his own. So for me to solely focus on just the design part, uh, luckily I can trust Richard on a lot of the photography because I know that he knows what I'm looking for and he obviously has that artistic eye as well. So, you know, when we were done with the shoot, looking through the photos, it was pretty awesome just to kind of see me 100% completely focus on the design part of it and then for him to completely focus on just photography. And uh, so in that we were both able to, you know, really just show our artistic side in a different way. And uh, a lot of times Richard doesn't get as much uh, notoriety, I guess, since it's my name on the photography side. So it was really cool for people to see like just him and his style yeah. alone. So we've done a few weddings the last couple years in Florida and we love it there. It's just obviously completely different from Washington. Uh, besides that we're by the water and both Richard and I love being by the ocean, the beach, anywhere with water. And um, yeah, obviously it's spring, so a tropical vibe just seemed to fit. And I was able to put a lot of that Florida feel into it, even though it's in the Pacific Northwest. And I feel like those colors and just bringing in the tropical flowers that Posey by Natalie incorporated just looked perfect. And the Bellwether is a gorgeous venue, it's, you know, surrounded by the water. And so it just kind of, it seemed to fit. It started out boho and it turned out to be more tropical in the end. So a lot of our bride and grooms get ready there at the Bellwether. Uh, even if they're getting married in the Bellingham area, that's usually where you know hair and makeup and all that is done if we're not doing a wedding there. So we've been there a few times, uh, done some engagement sessions and every time we're there, we just love it. The scenery is amazing. If you stay there in one of the rooms, you have water view in all of them and it's gorgeous. The staff there are very friendly and accommodating. The restaurant there is good. Just the whole 
the whole feeling there is just like you're thousands of miles away and honestly you're not that far from Seattle area you know just an hour and a half two hours away so but it feels like you're just kind of out in your own little you know world which is nice if you're needing a good vacation when I had thought of a place that was on the water I knew that that was the spot I was going to have it at it's just very dreamy. The uh, the lighthouse is obviously iconic. Obviously the bride and grooms always love to get that room for their honeymoon suite. We were fortunate enough to be able to have that room for the getting ready. So you can obviously see how gorgeous that lighthouse is. Yeah, I mean, blue skies and you know everything you can see why that, that place is just perfect for a tropical shoot. It looks almost like you're in a, you know, Florida area. So yeah, I was really happy with the way that all turned out there. They have multiple spots in there where you can do a smaller type wedding or a ballroom style. Um, and again, even in the, in, the, in the ballroom area, it's surrounded by windows. So even if you're inside, you still get a view of the water, which I think is great. So yeah, they did, they've just done a great job at that venue to showcase the ocean, whether it's an indoor or outdoor wedding, which I like. That's the best part about the industry is when you find somebody that you really enjoy working with and you make that connection. The best part is when you are now referring them to bride and grooms and you can trust and know that when you're referring these people to a couple that you have obviously built a relationship with, you know that these other vendors that you're recommending are people that you can trust and that um, you can stand by them 100%. And um, that is a large reason why I love doing inspired weddings is because you know on a, on a real wedding, everybody's running around and you're kind of on different timelines and you don't really get to connect with the florist because they're leaving right when you get there or the cake is dropped off and you don't get to make those connections. But for an inspired wedding, you get to talk and meet them and, you know, get to know them a little bit more. And uh, so again, it's just connecting. Connecting is the biggest thing for me for these. And um, I feel like every single vendor that I had a part of the shoot was someone that I was really looking forward to you know just having a little bit of that connection with yeah i wanted the behind the scenes so that you can see how these vendors actually work and um you know obviously each day is different but uh, at the end of the day you know it's our time it's you know our it's our love and our passion you know obviously we're doing it because it's it's something that we really enjoy doing and i wanted couples to see hopefully through this video, why each one of these vendors were chosen. And not only from this video, but to go to their websites and see their work and see why they are where they're at and um, just how talented they are. There's so many vendors to choose from. There's so many talented people. But in this specific video, I wanted to showcase, you know, the, the Bellingham area. And there are some vendors on the outside areas of it, but you know, um, it just shows, you know, the collaboration of it and how we can all work together. And when you bring all these vendors together, it just creates an awesome, an awesome story.